Hello everyone, and in this video I will be comparing the YJ Yulong to the YJ Qilong. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be keeping the Qilong on the left and the Yulong on the right. These are cubes that YJ came out with some time ago now, but they're still relevant because of their low price and good performance quality. On cubesforcespeed.com you can get the Qilong for $5.50 and the Yulong for $6.50. That's about 20% cheaper than other popular US stores. The turning out in both of these cubes is pretty fast. The Yulong does tend to be faster though, which leads me to turn out of control sometimes because it is so fast. I find myself liking the Qilong more on the speed, but it's really all personal preference at this point. They're both really fast. They both have sort of a crunchy sound, but not really a crunchy feel. They feel very smooth while turning them, and it leads for them feeling really nice, and it's just a pleasure to solve both of these cubes. The Yulong is a little bit louder than the Qilong, so if you don't like loud cubes, the Qilong might be more your speed, but if you don't mind the loud sounding cubes and you like something more fast, the Yulong might be the way to go. The corner cutting is also very comparable with both cubes doing close to but not over 45 degrees. Both of these can lock up but the lockups are minimal while doing a solve. Because of their speeds they can mostly be controlled to where you don't have to corner cut that much in a solve. Like I mentioned before you can get these at cubesforcespeed.com. It's pretty much the cheapest place around to get them and if you buy both of them you can get free shipping to the US. At the moment they only ship to the US, they are looking into shipping outside the US though. There is also a transparent stickerless version of the Yulong, which is something I definitely recommend checking out. It looks really cool. That's about all I have to say in this video. It really comes down to personal preference, whether you like fast and loud or controllable and quiet. It's really up to you, but I would recommend getting both and just figuring out which one you like best for yourself. At such a low price, they're definitely both nice ones to have around. This is where I cut out now and thank everyone so very much for watching. Goodbye.